Hello, uh, dear students. I am Dr. Mazhar Ali, and I welcome you to course Artificial Intelligence. Uh, today, uh, I am going to discuss expert system with you. Expert system is a significant uh, topic of the artificial intelligence. And in today's lecture, uh, I will discuss the significance of uh, expert system and uh, uh, designing and implement uh, implementation of the expert system and how. Uh, an expert system may be designed and implemented in the organization. And what is the importance of uh, expert systems in organization? How it performs? Uh, uh, it's a significant role in making the organization uh, digital and uh, uh, significant in modern age. In artificial intelligence, an expert system is a computer system that uh, emulates the decision making. Uh, ability of human experts means it emulates the decision uh, making ability of the human experts. So, uh, expert systems are uh, designed to solve complex problems by reasoning through uh, bodies of knowledge, representation, uh, many as a uh, uh, if then rules means what are the if and then rules uh, rather than the uh, rather than through a conventional procedural code. So, uh, expert systems are working on basis of the uh, what I say, uh, the rules uh, which uh, are working on basis of uh, if and then means the selection uh, rules. So it is a computer program. We may call the expert system as a computer program that attempts to uh, imitate experts' uh, reasoning uh, process and uh, knowledge in solving specific problems. And uh, uh, most uh, popular. Uh, it is the most popular applied AI technology because it enhances the productivity. Uh, but uh, we work in the organization, it enhances the uh, work uh, productivity as well as augment uh, work forces. So uh, it works based uh, with the narrow problem areas or the task means what, uh, for what task the organization is going to develop the expert system, it responds accordingly. So expert systems do not replace experts, but it's a very important thing that expert systems are not replacing the experts, but uh, they make their knowledge and experience more widely available. Means expert systems are getting the uh, knowledge and experience of the expert systems to make the system better. So therefore expert systems provide knowledge uh, like the expert uh, uh, humans. Thus, uh, it uh, permits non-experts to work better. Uh, it's a fact uh, that expert system takes knowledge of the uh, expert humans, of uh, human beings which are experts in their fields. Therefore, uh, an expert uh, human, or a human being who has uh, developed a high level of uh, proficiency in making judgment in a specific uh, domain is called expert. And the expert, uh, how um, he or she is the expertise, the expertise is basically the set of capabilities uh, that underline the performance of human experts, uh, uh, including the extensive domain knowledge, uh, that how much they are expert in the concerned knowledge domain. Some are experts in the health, some are experts in the education, and some are experts in other technical and non-technical fields. So these are all are extensive uh, domain knowledge-based uh, domains. Therefore, expert system takes the knowledge of those experts which are working in different uh, domains, as well as um, uh, the uh, expertise is uh, heuristic rules. These are the heuristic rules, thumb of rules, uh, that simply and um, uh, simplify and improve the approaches to problem solving. Because in heuristic, you know to what you have to do. Therefore, uh, it improves the approaches to uh, solve the, uh, the problems. And um, another thing is the meta knowledge and the meta cognition. Meta knowledge is the knowledge about the knowledge. Like the uh, metadata is the data about the data. Same the meta knowledge is the knowledge about the knowledge, and meta cognition is the cognition about the cognition. And a uh, uh, compiled uh, forms expertise is the compiled forms of uh, behavior that uh, uh, afford great economy and uh, skilled performance. Uh, 
the how the uh, system or uh, the person uh, performs is on basis of the skills. Therefore, expert uh, expert eyes shows uh, the performance, which is a definitely skilled. Uh, in um, artificial intelligence, we need intelligent uh, computers that can create new uh, logic from evidence. So, uh, generating the, the conclusion from evidences and uh, facts is uh, termed as an inference. And the inference is basically a term that, that is generated from the conclusions. And by since we get the conclusion from the uh, evidences. So, inference rules, you know, the rules are the templates for generating uh, valid arguments. Uh, therefore, inference rules are uh, applied to drive proofs in artificial intelligence, and the proof is a sequence of the uh, conclusion that leads to the uh, desired goal. Therefore, uh, experts means that the experts are selected on the basis of degrees or levels of their expertise, and how much they are expert in the uh, related domain or in a related field. And definitely, uh, experts are transferring uh, their expertizations or their uh, knowledge. Therefore, uh, from expert to computer to non-expert uh, by acquisition means experts transfer their knowledge to computer systems. And definitely, a computer system is a non-expert uh, uh, tool to get uh, knowledge from the experts. And computer uh, system or the expert system uh, which is uh, designed uh, that gets the <clears throat> knowledge from experts. Uh, it's called the acquisition. It, it uh, acquisits the knowledge uh, from the experts, and then it uh, the system represents uh, that knowledge and uh, inference or and transfer to the user. Means the user uh, get the knowledge or get the solution through inference engine uh, from the expert system by the expert system provide knowledge on basis of the knowledge base and uh, the rules which are developed to transfer the knowledge to the concerned user. So interesting uh, is a basically uh, knowledge uh, knowledge that is equal to facts plus procedures. Facts means what are the facts? Now, uh, facts cannot be changed at any level. Means what is your date of birth that will be remain date of birth uh, what is the independence date of your country that will be? For example, year, year will be remain same, the year, nose will be remain the nose, lungs will be remain the lungs. And there are uh, several uh, facts which cannot be changed. However, uh, those facts may be used uh, by applying the rules uh, that is uh, called the procedure. So rules uh, are applied to use the uh, facts in the that is effects of the basically knowledge. So, uh, inferencing is a basically uh, knowledge that is equal to facts and the procedure. And our reasoning or thinking, we get decision on basis of some uh, reasons of our, uh, our thinking. Since the reasoning or our thinking is a performed by a computer uh, process to provide the uh, true or the <coughs> at least the, the almost uh, a proper response to the user. For example, the user uh, asks computer, I'm suffering from cough, flu, and headache. Uh, for example, uh, you have developed a system that, is, that solves the medical problem of a human. So for a, a person that may be, that is a definitely patient, uh, he or she asks computer, I'm suffering from flu and uh, headache and cough. Now the system uh, will provide a solution. That system means the expert system will provide solution to that human on basis of knowledge, means the what are the facts uh, and the rules. If you had a kind of tough others, then this uh, uh, decision may be taken. So that decision is uh, uh, taken on basis of the reasoning and thinking that is performed by the computer. So expert system makes the computer system uh, intelligent to solve the uh, human problem or the real world problems. So uh, rules are definitely, rules are the, uh, developed on the basis of if and then. If this occurs, then this will be the solution. If 
uh, someone is suffering from headache, then this will be the solution. So rules uh, depends uh, developed on the if and then conditions. And definitely explanation capability that uh, by and how you have to, um, uh, system has to define each fact and the rule that uh, why this happened and how uh, it may be uh, solved. So uh, there is an explanation of each rule uh, and uh, expert system. There are uh, several applications of the expert systems uh, like the dendral. Dendral is uh, basically applied to uh, knowledge uh, that is a rule-based reasoning that means that all the, the knowledge uh, the taken or uh, utilized on the basis of some rules. So um, it definitely uh, it reduced like the molecular structure of the compound. So this is also dendral is also uh, an expert system. Mice is a very famous uh, expert system. Uh, this solves the medical problems of human beings. It is also a rule-based expert system which is the uh, used for diagnosing and treating bacterial infection. As I told you, uh, uh, example of uh, the headache, flu, and other things, there may be any, uh, any bacterial medical infection or problem uh, that may be solved by the Mycin expert system. Another is a, a XCON uh, that is also a rule-based uh, rule expert system. It is used to determine the optimal information system configuration. Means you may get uh, us great uh, information uh, from the system. So uh, there are several other applications of uh, uh, expert systems in different financial and non-financial, medical and non-medical social uh, uh, organizations like the credit analysis, you know, automatic credit analysis. Nowadays you see, you get the, uh, your credit analysis automatically. It happens only because of the uh, expert systems or marketing uh, you get the information about a different product that is uh, happened uh, by the expert system in finance, manufacturing, human resources, science, engineering, education, and several uh, organizations are using the uh, uh, expert systems. So there are several applications of the expert system uh, in order to solve the different uh, uh, problems. So look at the structure of the expert system. This is a, an expert system. You see uh, the, the development environment and the consultation in the runtime environment. If you look here, this is the user. Now user may be the intelligent agent, user may be human, uh, user may be anything. User just uh, uh, ask the query. Uh, they present the query to the system that uh, I have to solve the, such, uh, this type of the problem. And the problem may be social medical and other. So user just write the query in the system. Now, <clears throat> this system then connect to the, the inference engine. Inference engine is a basically the uh, uh, source by uh, which gets the queries from the humans or any user. So questions are uh, given uh, to the system by the human and answers are uh, given by the inference engine. The inference engine explain uh, provide the explanation of the facility or explain the query and uh, definitely uh, knowledge refinement and uh, breakboard of the uh, workspace as well. And uh, <clears throat> then uh, expert system, uh, inference engine is uh, connected uh, uh, with the working memory, that is a short memory. And I, I define these all terms in coming slide and to the external data, there is a knowledge base is available and all the sources are available via the you may get the sources there was the word wide wave. And this is the knowledge base where the facts are available. This is a long-term memory uh, where uh, the facts are stored in the shape of the knowledge base. So now all the uh, rules are connected with this, uh, this knowledge base to uh, use the facts. And uh, this is a knowledge engineer that is an expert human and that provides the facts and rules to the knowledge base. Means it generates the facts about the problem. This is a, uh, this person is an expert in the concerned field. Means this person not maybe the multi pill uh, no. This may be an uh, expert of any single field. So this is called the knowledge engineer, not knowledge engineer. Uh, use these facts by making the rules 
and also uh, it is uh, connected with the uh, these rules are uh, definitely uh, facilitated and from a uh, inference engine to solve the problem of this human now knowledge engineer uh our knowledge in different forms to the knowledge this uh, we uh, under uh, uh, i delivered lecture on knowledge this before this lecture the purpose of that lecture to get you to the expert system so if you you have not uh, uh, watch uh, that lecture then go to the previous lecture i uh, put here the link in the description of the knowledge base because if you have not watched uh, uh, that, that lecture then you will face some problem in understanding this lecture so uh, these are the uh, sources of knowledge it means you may provide knowledge through these sources and uh, uh, knowledge in a way as i told you it's the uh, human experts so this is the structure of the uh, expert system that um, how expert system uh, may be developed uh, that designed or developed and implemented in the organization and how many parts of the uh, uh, expert systems which make it the significant so these are the terms which are used in uh, expert system and we saw these terms in the previous slide so uh, knowledge acquisition is the uh, process of uh, extracting uh, structuring and uh, organizing knowledge from uh, one source usually human expert definitely we acquire knowledge from the uh, human expert so it can be used in uh, software such as in expert system knowledge uh, make the expert system proper and significant and that we get from the human experts another is a uh, uh, working memory and that is um, also term that is used in the expert system and when you design and develop the expert system you have to uh, use these terms uh, and use um, this type of the memories and process as well so a uh, working memory contains the uh, data that is uh, received from the user uh, during the expert system session and uh, uh, values uh, in working memory are used to uh, evaluate uh, uh, antecedents in the knowledge base so consequences from uh, rules in the uh, knowledge base may create uh, new values in working memory so update to old values or remove existing values so to all what we get from the user and the process in the uh, working memory and another term is the explanation subsystem so this is a uh, this is also a very important uh, term so this is a subsystem that explains the, the systems sections means i uh, mean systems actions how system performs the actions uh, so uh, means the system that performs actions by trying to give a reason so why a certain cause of actions or a certain conclusions were uh, well uh, chosen by an expert system so the explanations can range from uh, how the final or the intermediate solutions were uh, arrived at to justifying the uh, need of uh, additional uh, data so uh, these are very significant terms so as i told you the knowledge acquisition by which we extract the and formulation of the knowledge uh, derived from the uh, various sources especially from the experts and the users and the knowledge base is a place where we store the facts therefore uh, it is a collection of uh, facts and uh, rules and procedures organized into schemas so uh, if you know about the database systems you may understand knowledge base very much easily knowledge base is a basically database which provide you the facts and means what is the data well, in the database we use through some uh, queries or the rules the same happens here but are the facts and the data uh, stored or available in the knowledge this the data or facts are used through uh, some rules which are uh, developed on basis of if and then so the assembly of all the information and knowledge about a specific interest is called the uh, knowledge base and another term is a blackboard uh, that i told you already and uh, with the name of the uh, working memory working memories are basically a uh, blackboard as you uh, saw here like this one this is a uh, blackboard 
तो इट इज एन एरिया ऑफ वर्किंग मेमोरी सेट असाइड फॉर द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ करंट प्रॉब्लम एंड फॉर रिकॉर्डिंग इंटरमीडिएट रिजल्ट्स इन एन एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम इज व्हाट यू क्वेरीज गेट फ्रॉम द यूजर्स और व्हाट यू क्वेश्चंस गेट फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चंस ऑफ एयर एंड एक्सप्लेनेशन सब सिस्टम्स आर बेसिकली जस्टिफायर्स Uh, the component of a this is that basically component of the uh, an expert system that can explain the uh, system say reasoning and justifying its conclusions is what is the reasoning what the thinking are explained by the sub system so there is a, as i told you already very important significant role of uh, human elements in an expert system and the expert i defined earlier the expert has the uh, special knowledge the judgment and experience and methods to give advice and solve the problems for example a doctor may be expert in the uh, medical based uh, expert system like in the mycin in the mycin expert system doctors are the knowledge engineers and the experts and um, and the computer system the definitely computer engineer and computer scientist may be the expert system and in the hiring definitely uh, the hiring uh, the humans uh, person so home knowledge is in the uh, hiring uh, may be the expert engineers So the degree must be in the business, and the knowledge engineers uh, as the experts uh, structure the problem area by interesting and uh, integrating human answers uh, to questions, drawing uh, analogies, posing counter examples, and uh, enlightening conceptual difficulties. Because you see, knowledge engineers are the computer scientists. now the expert uh, it is not necessary that expert may be the computer uh, may be the computer scientist how may uh, however uh, he she may be the computer scientist but mostly for example you are doing uh, developing the sys expert system for medical uh, solution medical problem solution Then now the expert may be doctor so doc it is not necessary uh, that doctor may be the computer scientist so there is a need of the knowledge engineer that takes uh, takes the knowledge from the medical doctor and uh, implement in the knowledge base and user is a user of uh, expert system that present uh, queries ask questions to solve uh, their problems and there may be system analyst builders and support staff and etc which may be the part of an expert system Uh, knowledge engineering uh, is a field of artificial intelligence or AI that tries to emulate the judgment and the behavior of a human ex uh, expert in a given field. So the knowledge engineering is the technology uh, behind the creation of an expert system to assist with the issues related to uh, the program fields of the uh, knowledge. Therefore, uh, we you may say that knowledge engineering is a set of intensive activities uh, encompassing the acquisition of knowledge from human experts and uh, other information resources so, as well. So, and to converting this knowledge into a repository, commonly called a knowledge base. Knowledge base is a place in, uh, like the database in the uh, primary where we store the type of the data. so the primary goal of uh, knowledge engineering is to help experts uh, articulate how they do what they do and to document this knowledge in the reusable form but what uh, the facts and knowledge uh, are provided by the experts which definitely will be a documented and uh, explanations may be developed for those facts and the rules will be developed So this is a knowledge engineering process. If you look here, this is the process. Means first of all, problem of opportunity. Definitely, in computer science, what happens when we want to solve the problem? We have to understand the problem. It is called the problem understanding. Means when you want to solve the real world problem, computer programmer or researcher uh, has to understand the problem. Till the uh, problem is uh, not structured properly, properly, uh, properly means problem is not structured properly, then problem could not be solved properly. 
so to structure out the problem uh, we have to understand the problem properly so now what happens at first we accuse it to knowledge means knowledge acquisition and knowledge acquisition uh, definitely uh, for example we use the ask question that is not um, uh, that may be uh, factual or ra as well so definitely that will be the ra knowledge and it um, comes to the knowledge representation here the codified knowledge means that knowledge is the filter the coding is done even uh, and it comes to the knowledge gravitation means what Uh, was the raw fact available in that knowledge uh, will be uh, was removed, and then uh, validated knowledge uh, is assigned to the inferencing that the reasoning uh, that means that uh, the another process of inferencing is performed on the validated knowledge, and then that knowledge goes to the uh, is the the explanation of each fact is a, a described. in the inferencing reason that is called the meta knowledge mean knowledge about the knowledge so for example uh, the filu now what is filu the filu will be explained and what is the treatment of filu that will be explained uh, it will be present uh, through the rules however the knowledge uh, will be uh, explained uh, properly to understand the fact that the filu for example or the headache or another thing it is called the meta data so this is the a uh, filo diagram of the uh, knowledge uh, engineering and uh, explanation of the justification of any fact of knowledge is the basic of the solution because then we get the uh, the term clear for example filo we can get that what is filo a headache or so on is it, uh, that is the solution because on the basis of the explanation the rules are developed and solution is provided to the uh, user so definitely explanation again it we uh, process by validating each uh, term and each step with the uh, the concerned concerned person may be uh, response properly so each step is validated again in this part there are uh, some categories of knowledge in, uh, in expert systems uh, which are the uh, declarative knowledge procedural knowledge and so on so if we talk about the declarative knowledge uh, it refers to facts or information stored in uh, memory that is a uh, considered static so declarative knowledge are also referred to as a conceptual propositional or uh, descriptive knowledge Uh, for example uh, the things events or processes their attributes and their uh, relations to each other say uh, all the declarative knowledge like the facts world history for example world history all the rules for mathematical equations or the math mathematical equations are all example of the uh, declarative knowledge so what are the facts are the basically um, Uh, the history rules are other part declarative knowledge so a uh, descriptive uh, we may call the declarative knowledge is the descriptive representation of knowledge is what is the fact and how we uh, define and that fact how we explain that uh, fact that relates to a specific object is a basically uh, declarative uh, knowledge like the shallow uh, expressed in a factual statement and important in the initial stage of the knowledge acquisition as i told you means what you present the facts and how those facts are uh, explained or uh, uh, explained uh, described as a basically declarative uh, knowledge another uh, is a procedural uh, knowledge procedural knowledge is also known as imperative uh, knowledge is the type of knowledge uh, exercised in the uh, performance of a task so it is a basically uh, how you know to do something is how you will proceed about uh, something that is the procedural knowledge basically means uh, it uh, considers the manner uh, in which things uh, uh, work under a different sets of uh, circumstances since uh, in the declarative knowledge we explain or we describe the fact that what is the fact that is the declarative in the procedural knowledge uh, one considers the manner in which uh, things uh, uh, work under different sets of circumstances 
so it includes a step by step sequences and how to type of instruction and these a procedure will be applied to define or declare or use the or knowledge and the meta knowledge as i told you already it is the knowledge about the knowledge means the uh, knowledge uh, uh, meta knowledge is a piece of data that describes the knowledge in the world of artificial intelligence Uh, the main usage of uh, meta knowledge is uh, to understand and improve the nature of user uh, interface components and to man uh, maintain the knowledge bases that, that are used uh, alongside inference uh, engines as well so uh, these are uh, these, uh, these define the uh, facts as well means uh, for example uh, in effect is it described uh, by uh, its a function and originality that is the meta data or uh, meta knowledge means for example when we define the data in the particular way that is called the meta data and when we define the knowledge as fact that will be the uh, meta knowledge now uh, knowledge representation uh, and uh, reasoning in the field of artificial intelligence dedicated to uh representing uh, information about uh, the word in form that a computer system can utilize to solve complex tasks such as uh, diagnosing and uh, uh, medical uh, conditions or having a dialogue in a natural language as well so knowledge representation is a definitely very significant part of an expert system Uh, and that is important as well so expert knowledge uh, must be represented in the computer understandable format and uh, organized properly in the knowledge base for example means it's a very much a specific uh, an expert system is always a specific that is not the general that is a specialized uh, application or the specialized system that is why it is called a specific so the when the system represents the knowledge that is also uh, specific so when a user ask any query or question the response is uh, given on basis of the knowledge uh, representation so different ways of uh, representing human knowledge including uh, the production rules that is the if and then rules means how you will uh, represent your knowledge how the knowledge will be provided or the how the knowledge will be used the system so there are different ways of the knowledge representation one is a rule based which i told you already that is based on the if and then and another is a semantic network that is our the standing and the third one is a logic statement that is a true and false either it's a true or false it means there are binary condition the system uh, the response will be true or false or the a uh, process will be true or false so these are the representation where the knowledge is represented but the most common and successful is the production of rules that is uh, the if and then the rules mostly systems are developed uh, on the basis of if and then even the uh, uh, natural language processing uh, problem solution for example uh, someone is uh, going to develop a system for taking uh, any part of uh, as a part of his speech of their languages to their languages so this system is a very good to solve the linguistic problems of their uh, languages so this is the semantic network so is this is also a knowledge representation i, I give here the memo example but you may even give the uh, language uh, so medical and other as well for example i say mammal now mammal is it an animal and mammal has a body but definitely and mammal has a body but it's an animal uh, mammal is an animal therefore uh, mammal has a body but and cat cat is a mammal so cat has a fur even the bear is a mammal so bear has also fur and the whale uh, is also mammal therefore uh, whale lives in water and uh, the fish uh, is an animal and it lives in a uh, in a water so this is the semantic if you want to represent your knowledge on basis of this even you may if you want to represent the knowledge on basis of rules if and then if uh, for example if i make a rule here uh, 
uh, if mammal is an animal then mammal has a vertebra if mammal cat is an uh, uh, mammal then cat is an animal and cat has a fur if bear uh, is a mammal then bear is an animal and bear has a fur so you may make the rules as well as to represent the knowledge and even you may represent the knowledge in this of the semantic network as well So knowledge and uh, represent, uh, influence rules are important for any, uh, uh, what I say, uh, expert system. So knowledge uh, influence rules uh, to uh, acquiring new knowledge uh, from the existing phase it means influence rules of the knowledge and influence rules means to acquire a new, uh, <coughs> what, uh, new knowledge uh, from existing facts. Uh, based on the, the certain rules and uh, constraints. So uh, one way of uh, representing the, the rules and constraints is uh, through the use of uh, logic rules, formally known as the knowledge representation as I uh, represented in the re represented in the previous slide. So there are basically two types of rules uh, which are common in the artificial intelligence, uh, the knowledge rules and Influence rules. The knowledge rules are uh, basically the declarative rules, uh, which state all the facts and the relationships about a problem. That what is problem and which facts are related uh, with that problem. So all the uh, facts and problems, uh, along with um, the relations, are defined. Since the influence rules uh, are the procedural rules, uh, which advise on uh, advise. It how to solve a problem means if there is a problem of any user that how that problem may be solved. So uh, given that certain facts are known, means uh, the procedure will be defined, means the rules uh, will be defined to use the uh, facts. As I, I told you, rules if the uh, memoir is an animal, then the it is a, a memoir, but as a memoir or other maybe you may Create several rules. Okay, there's no limit of the rules. Now, rules uh, should be uh, according to a system, expert system, and as much as the rules uh, are more, your system will be very good. So, influence uh, rules uh, contain the rules about uh, rules that are that is called the meta rules. Means you have to uh, define the rules that uh, what is the rule and why this rule is uh, used and how it will be used. You have to define that rule. That is why influence rules are also called the uh, meta rules. And the knowledge rules are stored in the knowledge base. I mean, as I told you in this uh, expert system structure, there was the knowledge base. So knowledge rules define those uh, uh, facts which are available in the knowledge base and uh, knowledge rules are developed by the knowledge engineer. And the rules, influence rules become part of the influence engine. Is, uh, shown you in the system, if you look here, I think, ah, there, there. all the influence rules are here and the knowledge rules are here. For example, if um, needed data is not known, then ask the user. Means if a um, uh, user cannot uh, clarify uh, his or her question, then the system will ask the question, uh, user to clarify uh, your question. And if more than one rule applies, uh, then fire the one with the uh, highest priority. Means uh, you have to fire the rule. Means when a rule is uh, complete, then fire the rule. So influence is the process of chaining multiple uh, rules together based on available data. That is the forward chaining and backward chaining. And um, the difference between the uh, what uh, uh, forward and uh, backward chaining is uh, that backward chaining uh, start, uh, starts with the goal and then uh, searches back through influence rules to find the facts that support the, the goal. Since the forward uh, chaining starts with facts and uh, searches forward to the uh, rules to find out the uh, desired goal. So, uh, 
data driven uh, in uh, power training that data driven search in a rule based system if the film is um, uh, the area the film is classed in each the situation then the process are tends to assert the conclusion means if the question or the query is a clear and that attempt to knowledge base then definitely the process attempt to assert the conclusion since in a big word chaining a goal driven search in a rule based system it begins with the action uh, class of a rule and works uh, uh, backward through a chain of rules in attempt to find a, a verifiable set of condition class so these both systems are uh, working in the experience system to the inference So uh, I, I told you the firing a rule. So when uh, firing a rule, when all of the rules, uh, rules of hypothesis, the if parts means we get the hypothesis on basis of if if this happen. Now that is a hypothesis. That is not fact. If this happen, then this will be. That is a satisfaction. That is a fact. That is certain. If um, if it rains. Uh, then i will be indoors but if it rains that is my hypothesis if it rains on the tuesday i will not go to city a means if it rains on the monday then i may go to city a but if uh, it rains on tuesday i will not go to city a or if, uh, if um, uh, it's a uh, uh, it rains i will be indoors so this is the satisfaction in the part b that starts after then and hypothesis in the part uh, uh, for first part that is start with the if so then all of the rules are hypothesis and the if parts are satisfied means satisfied by then a rule said to be fired a rule may be fired means a rule is the success, successful if the second part is a satisfied means if it rains i will be indoors that is the second part second part satisfies the first part and when the first part is satisfied by the second part the rule is said to be fired so in inference engine checks every rule in the knowledge base in the forward or backward direction to find rules that can be fired so continuous until no more uh, rules can fire means uh, the system will continue till no more uh, no rule uh, more rules will be fired is still the process uh, running then uh, the system will run as well or until the goal is achieved when the goal is achieved when the uh, query of um, user is uh, satisfied then the uh, rule is uh, fired definitely so uh, there are the fact base so that is the work, uh, working memory as i shown you in the structure of the uh, uh, expert system now the fact base means the working mem memory is a part of the inference engine and other one is a knowledge base uh, that is available in the long term memory that is the permanent so for example fact credit score is a for example if the credit um, score is a 600 the fact base that is available in the inference engine or the working memory if the credit score is a 600 or if age is a 20 then if credit score is a less than 650 and age is less than 35 then risk is high now this is the satisfaction rule if you this two uh, conditions occurs then this will be the satisfaction rule but if risk is high then definitely rule will be fire 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 then rule will be fire if risk is high then rule will be fire because if risk is high and so so on means if this is a fact then this will be the rule if this is a fact then this will be a rule and after the satisfaction the rule will be fired so <clears throat> certainty is a very much important thing so certainty factors and beliefs uh, are definitely uh, parts of our lives and even the uh, these computerized systems since the uncertainty is represented as a degree of belief express the major of belief means uh, major the belief major of the belief 
and manipulate degrees of belief by using knowledge based systems so these are certainty and um, uncertainty are the <coughs> uh, performing the major role and a significant role in the uh, expert system because certainty factors uh, into beliefs and uncertainty as a representative of the degree of beliefs so these uh, degrees are manipulated is these degrees uh, manipulate uh, the belief by using the knowledge based systems so certainty factors for, for example cf express belief in an event what is the question what is the first uh, based on the evidence of the experts uh, assessment for example one point zero of 100 so absolute truth that is the complete confidence for example you are going to develop a system and that uh, depends on the definite beliefs or the uh, confidence level so if the confidence level uh, reaches or satisfied the rule of the qe means that is the uh, success so cfs uh, uh, certain certainty factors are not uh, probability keep in your mind that is not uh, probability but this is the these are degrees of the belief and cfs need at some to 100 it is not necessary that is your satisfaction level should be 100 or the, the confidence level uh, should be 100 for example uh, i say uh, you have mo uh, my mobile phone uh, so battery is a uh, very good and, and the display as well however uh the mic is not good so what will be the confidence level if the confidence level will be about 70 to 80 percent not the 100 percentage but what will be the analysis of the system the uh, quality of uh, the sentence will be positive because the majority of the confidence uh, your confidence uh, about your product is a high so it shows that how much uh, you satisfy the uh, user on basis of the uh, knowledge based system so uh, how in any form you represent the knowledge but how much knowledge this system satisfy the user so uh, there is a development process of the uh, Uh, expert system a typical process uh, developing the expert system includes the knowledge acquisition that is important how you acquire the knowledge from the user and how you process it or how you uh, get the knowledge from the experts and uh, make the rules and uh, make the explanations for, for that uh, rules and knowledge represent how you represent the knowledge either the rule this that is the if and then or the semantic way uh, or the <coughs> a uh, logical way that is the true or false and uh, selection of the development tools in which um, environment will you develop the system either uh, in the object oriented uh, area languages or non object and uh, oriented languages it depend on you so object oriented languages are very good uh, for developing the uh, tools for expert system because all objects are developed properly and the system prototyping as well before implementation you have to develop the uh, prototype to evaluate the system and then evaluate the whole system uh, uh, before implementation even after the implementation time to time and improvement and maintenance are very necessary uh, it, either system is working properly and when the system gets the knowledge uh, from the user that uh, will also be uh, incorporated so this is a, a simple way to develop expert system you may develop expert system for any organization or for in, uh, any problem solution so <clears throat> before uh, developing an expert system you must define the nature and the scope of the problem that for what purpose you are going to develop that uh, expert system and uh, what is uh, the scope of the problem or what is the uh, level of problem so rule based uh, expert systems are appropriate when the nature of the problem is uh, qualitative and the knowledge is explicit and experts are uh, available to solve the problem uh, effectively and uh, provide their knowledge such as the medical problems the social problems and other problems so, however 
uh, identifying uh, proper expert is also a significant speed. So, uh, expert, proper expert should have a thorough understanding of the uh, related problem. Means problem solving knowledge. Expert must uh, be expert in uh, the related or uh, concerned field that he or she can solve the problem. The role of uh, an expert system and decision support technology is uh, also important. Therefore, uh, expert uh, knowledge should be proper uh, and it must be uh, placed in, uh, properly in the knowledge base and it represented properly as well as uh, uh, proper explanations should be uh, de described. So good communication skills are very much important in developing the expert system because you have to define the uh, rules, you have to define the knowledge base, you have to define the facts and so on. Now, acquiring knowledge, knowledge is acquired by the knowledge engineer. So in AI or artificial intelligence specialist, uh, responsible for the technical side of developing an expert system. The knowledge engineer works closely with the uh, domain expert to capture the expert's knowledge. The knowledge engineer captures the knowledge of the expert or get the uh, knowledge from the uh, ex expert. And knowledge engineering uh, is the engineering discipline in which knowledge is integrated into computer systems to solve complex problems normally uh, requiring a high level of human expertise. So this is also uh, proper, uh, this is also significant process to implement um, uh, the knowledge in the computer systems. So selecting um, uh, tools, the uh, general purpose development environment, for example, expert uh, system shell, there should be access or COVID and others as well. And the uh, computer, program uh, that uh, facilitate a relatively easy implementation of a specific expert system. So you have to use a proper environment to develop the system or the expert system. So choosing an expert uh, system development tool, you have to consider the cost benefit as well as, uh, because cost is important uh, and that must be uh, focused. It uh, should not be ignored and consider the functionality and the flexibility of the tools. How much um, the tool is flexible uh, in usage and how much uh, it will be flexible to users as well. Uh, and consider the tool uh, as well as in the uh, uh, infrastructure as well, that uh, how much it will become flexible to programmer as well as uh, software engineer as well as uh, other uh, team members. So consider the reliability of uh, and support from the vendor from which you uh, from you purchase the tool. You must consider these all things uh, that will be uh, very much uh, helpful in developing the uh, expert system. Uh, if you are not focusing the proper tools uh, and other things, then definitely uh, you may face problem in developing and implementing an expert system. Coding is an uh, important thing because coding is a way of implementing your thought. What you thought, what you design, it is uh, implemented by the coding. So the major concern at this stage is uh, whether coding or implementing uh, coding is uh, coding process is properly managed to avoid errors. And definitely, errors will occur, but uh, it's uh, your responsibility as a programmer to avoid those errors that and future expert system may run properly. So for coding, you have, again, as I told you, you have to select the proper uh, language and language or proper uh, programming environment. Select a language that should be uh, helpful that, and the other languages are very much uh, significant uh, for the uh, expert system development. So, <clears throat> The validation and the verification of the expert system is also very much important after the development is evolution. Assess an expert system's overall value and performance. That how it perform and how it give the uh, output. So analyze whether the system would be usable, efficient, and cost effective for organization or not. This is a very much important. Evolution is a basic step by which you evaluate the whole uh, expert system. And then 
validate this deals with the performance of the system compared to the experts means what the experts have given the knowledge to the expert system either that expert system is responding or not means the expert system is responding accordingly or not was the right system built that is the expert uh, what is the acceptable level of the accuracy it is a, it must be validated because this is a not the common but it is a special purpose of the system that solve the real world problem of any form of any type and the verification Verif means was the system built right the question must be asked means right for the right organization for example you have developed system for the medical problem that should be used in the hospital but you have implemented in other organization so that is not right system for uh, right system built for the right organization so this question must be developed and another thing is that is the right built right means all the uh, right facts are available in the knowledge base means the right knowledge is uh, provided to knowledge base by the knowledge engineers or not and either uh, right response is given to user or not and what the system correctly implemented to a specification means what are the specifications are defined and is described or the uh, is the system uh, developed accordingly and implemented correctly so these are the question these are the stages in the evolution of the system how it is developed and validated how it responses and verification how uh, is it uh, is for a specification or not so these <clears throat> there are different uh, problem areas uh, which are addressed by the es means i mentioned here some for the interpretation system these are the areas which are addressed by the expert systems uh, uh, implementation system or uh, interpretation uh, systems prediction systems as i told you um, uh, linguistics and natural language systems and medical and others so this is a very you know, successful system diagnostic systems repair systems design systems planning systems monitoring systems debugging systems instruction systems control systems and several several other systems uh, are developed to address the real world problems so this is the significance of the uh, expert system so there are several benefits of expert system i i tell you some uh benefits it, it captures the uh, scores expertise it increases the productivity and the quality uh, it decreases the decision making time the system automatically take the decisions reduce the downtime uh, via diagnosis uh, because if you go to a doctor uh, it uh, doctor will take more time however it reduces the time even the system diagnosis by the expert system reduce the diagnosis time means if you don't have time to diagnose the problem of your computer system the expert system will diagnose the uh, problem of your computer system elimination of uh, expensive equipment as well uh, and the ability to solve complex problems knowledge transfer remote uh, uh, location and so on even the uh, automation as well uh, automated um, vehicles which are on the roads uh, automated uh, map identification automated uh, task identification automated task solution uh, automated um, several automating uh, works so there are some uh, problems and uh, limitations of expert system knowledge is not always readily available means the uh, experts uh, are not uh, the knowledge sometimes and that is definitely not available all the time so expertise can be hard to extract from the humans there is also fear of sharing some experts uh, are not confident therefore they um, don't share the expertise even they don't share their knowledge so even they are fear that my knowledge will be uh, shared with others as well and uh, means uh, they feel some fear conflicts arise in uh, dealing with uh, multiple experts as well this is also problem <clears throat> so expert system work well only in the narrow domain of knowledge this is the limitation of the expert system means you uh, should not expect that uh, expert system may work in uh, all domains no means a uh, domain which are narrow in, in uh, size you may use the expert systems expert so work will be up on highly technical so oh, that is also important to understand that 
the technical technical knowledge of experts and uh, implement in the system. Knowledge engineers are rare and expensive. Therefore, uh, hiring of knowledge engineers is also a problem and a lack of trust by end user as well. And this is a very big problem. User can can't trust on the computer expert system or artificial intelligence expert system. This level, however, in the developed countries, users are uh, trusting on the expert system. For example, Myson, if you are using Myson and you share your problem, medical problem with Myson, Myson and Myson uh, show solve your problem by describing the medicine and others and uh, advising you that case. Now, if you trust that system, definitely you get the solution. So this is a big problem nowadays. Expert system sometimes produces incorrect recommendation as well. It depends on the knowledge, that how knowledge is represented and how knowledge is uh, implemented. Okay, dear students, there's an assignment. This is a second assignment of this course. Uh, so assignment is that uh, the modern uh, businesses are using uh, chat boards to take care of uh, uh, routine requests and enhance uh, customer services. Nowadays, several organizations are using the chat boards to solve the, their uh, business problems. So for, for example, the online shopping, online businesses are using the chat boards because chat boards provide you services 24 by 7. So a chat board is an intelligent machine that responds to queries of users which are generated by user definitely. So some of these boards uh, can also identify the context of the uh, queries and then respond with the relevant answer. If they understand the query and uh, then they answer. answer. So uh, there are several ways to implement a chat board systems in your organizations. What do you have to do? You have to develop the chat board for the BSR. Uh, that satisfy the queries of the students and the, their parents for academic purpose. This is the assignment. What you have to do? These are the tasks. Describe what is chat board, define its functions, and develop the chat board on the retrieval based. That retrieves all the queries of the students or parents regarding admission, regarding um, academic problems, regarding classes, and solve. Um, uh, and the response satisfactory to the students and problems. So you may use the uh, retrieval based uh, uh, intelligent systems uh, to develop the chat board. Even if you are very good in uh, the neural networks, even you may use the neural networks to develop the chat board. So the methodology and model should be clear. And uh, how a BBS chat board will process and work should be described properly as well. Means the fellow working fellow of the chat board should be clearly described and chat board uh, should be developed in any programming language. So this is a project assignment to you. Uh, you have to submit uh, to me uh, next week. So thank you very much for watching uh, my lecture on expert system. Expert system is a part of um, course artificial intelligence course. Uh, so if uh, you have not attended the previous lectures, you must go for especially the knowledge base lecture on the knowledge base. And if uh, you have uh, not uh, uh, subscribe uh, to my channel, then uh, subscribe it now. And share this lecture with your friends, like this lecture as well. And must share with your friend and must subscribe. So again, thank you very much.